Hey, bring your best here and come. Come join us for yet another episode of the story. A story called Backsliding. Chicken soup from heaven for what ails the people. Now, here's today's episode of the story. The Backsliding Story. Today we bring you chapter 17, Cosigner, The Death Trap. Cosigner, The Death Trap. This is chapter 17b and it goes something like this. By the same token, if your friend comes to you and asks you for some funds, money, let's say, to put fuel in the car in order to go out and get things done today, like to get to work and so on, by all means, don't let the person go away or not be able to leave and go away from your door or anywhere else. That would be just because there is no fuel in the car whatsoever to go anywhere. Don't let him leave without the money or the fuel, whichever one you can and the dwell, unless you yourself absolutely cannot find it to give him, yeah, that man. However, if that said person should come back to you two, three, or four times more, asking that very same favor of you and at your door, don't give in. Don't give it to him. Let him go and learn how to manage his affair correctly to the win. And you yourself, you too need to go and learn some things like how to say no. That is, before the community loses both of you down below the abyss. The easy rider who will not learn how to be a man or woman will not spear or deny himself anything, be it a great or small plan, no matter how foolish and unnecessary it is, leaving his hand because he knows where to go for help every time. Also the bleeding heart do-gooder, he who will not save himself and those who really needed to be saved by him or her, like his own family for instance, his own seed even. He needs to go and learn some things too. It is him who they, his spouse and children are looking to and depending on in the house to save them against the evil day coming on down, which is bound to come sooner or later, better sooner than later. But if he gives in to the con man all the time, be it this one sitting right here on the mime or the other contrite person over there to find, if he continues along that line unabated, it won't be long before he too even you won't have the wherewithal to help anybody at all, as he did. Not even your own newborn baby in the crib. Take it from this fool. He who knows nothing that could be learned in school. He's been there and done that too. Too many times. On either side of the ledger here too. No denying. Thank yous are in order to you again, my friends. You who have been there for me in those my greatest hours of needs, which were many. It's not that I have crossed over and won't see those days again and any. No, not at all. I just decided to approach it all differently and to test the strength of that wild beast in front of me just to see what metals he's made of, probably. Won't be taking the easy route out anymore because I have learned that that road sure is not easy for either of us. But consider this. If the friend or brother whom you had helped out last week by putting fuel in the car was the same one whom you had helped in like manner the week before, now he's coming again this week to ask for more, like the same favor of you and at your door. 
what is there to suggest that he won't be coming again next week and then when the big ticket item comes up like not the gas this time but the car or the bus guess who he will be running to first and foremost yep the same old fo sorry i mean the same person from whom he already knows that he can get what he had set out to get with neither regrets nor long-term debts to pay back anyway will you now obey what i have to say don't say nay whatever you do or don't do don't do this please how did we get to this though how is it that you have allowed yourself to be talked and taught into a situation like this? Where you are now oh so vulnerable? Your very existence is now dependent upon the grace and the favor of the other man and the terrible. It was probably when you started listening to them and looking over the fence. That was when we, you, him and me, that was probably when we had stopped doing our kinds of things. Stop acting in ways like that of our four parents, your four parents and mine. The ways they had acted for thousands upon thousands of years on their side of the fence, divine. Which had managed to bring you and me and them, yes, our own children. It was that those things which had managed to bring us thus far did we ever think of using the rear view mirrors in our cars do we as a people ever turn around and look behind us if you have do you like what you now see i mean do you really like what you see i sure don't so you cry for help but none was to be forthcoming so you run to your brother or sister, the one whom you have taken on in recent times in the place of your real brothers and sisters and mother and father too. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. There are not many of those types left around these parts of the lot. No, not for you. None of the father types. Not many of them are floating around in this group. I wonder why. Could it be that those are, or should be, cut from a different cloth, like, like me? Have different ways of looking at things by nature and in thoughts? Or at least, if they don't, they probably should, but they may also have a way of rubbing the supplanters the wrong way. The fakers, someone else might say. So. If and when they do come, the men type, if they do come at all to your churches, for instance, they don't usually stay, not for long anyway. It could even be because they, the men, the real men types, the father types, they probably are supposed to be able to see and think things through, even twice, think differently than others do even me and you not like the others such as the supplanters you and your women do amongst others is there someone somewhere with a vested interest in keeping the men out of the lives of the children out of the families of a certain kind of people our people mostly am i even allowed to ask those other family members though are all that you seem to care about over there oh i'm out of here that's it my friends thank you for lending me your ear chime again come join us next time when we shall bring you yet another episode of the story the backsliding story until then i remain your very best of friend ek the writing help and i am out just here writing love letters to my beloved black brothers. I thank you.